Pick him. Good boy. Back come. Good boy. Come, come here. Come here. There you go. So, come here. Okay. Dogs and kids never work with either. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another video. Yes, I'm out in the woods again. It's a bit of a stag do event this weekend. All the boys are out. So we've got myself, John, and Finley, and Bear the dog. We're in a, a woodland that we go to quite often, but it's a bit of a mi uh, midgy hell at the minute. Um, but we're let that deter us in what we've got planned for today. So it's a bit more of a bushcrafty camp in comparison to what we've been doing recently. Got some nice food to cook up, some spit roast chicken. What are you cooking, Finn? Uh, spaghetti bolognese. What are you cooking, John? Uh, adventure food, Russian pack. So we've got a, ver a variation <laughs> there of different types of cooking and meals. Um, so yeah, I'd like to bring you along on our adventure and uh, hope you enjoy it. Right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Oh, is it zoomy time? Is it zoomy time? Yeah. That's it. So who who prepared this area then? Uh, me and Grandma. Cool. So why have you done that? Uh, for fire. Okay. So cool. Radius, um, we need to be able to sit here, but we need more room for fire. All right. Cool. And who clipped all that wood? Uh, it was a combination of efforts from me and Grandma. Ah, good effort. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of it around. It certainly is. Right, I'll bring you back. Stop. 
So I only use one of these. So. I'll use oh. one, just kind of unravel it. I'll just actually just take, hold it like a Chinese burn, and twist it. Opposites. So it opens it up. I don't know how to do a Chinese burn. No, I'll show you later. Don't. Right. Tell me when to. You crack on, mate. I'm just letting the recorder record. All right. Okay. the end of the ferro rod on that's it. Just so that you know the spark's getting into it. Now it will be quite difficult but I'm sure you can do it. Open that piece up a bit more. Yeah. So try and blast it, mate. Try and get lots of embers and flames and sparks. And there you go. Like that. That's not... Alright. Then you need to literally just blast it mate. The charcoal cloth won't get that alight. Don't be scared, don't burn yourself. Just yeah. pin it in, yeah. that's it, and really yeah. scrape it hard. Keep going. That's there it. you go. That's Good it. effort, mate. Good go. effort. Well bit of perseverance. Sometimes that little bit of aggression allows you to pull through. Should I chuck this on now? Crack on, mate, mm -hmm. before you set yourself on fire. <laughs> We've got the next lot of twigs ready. Um, so, fire starting one on one, it's all in the prep, mate. <laughs> so I said to him about 10 minutes ago, get that lot ready. Yeah. It's gone. I'll give you another set, bring the track on. Stick it on the fire, mate. Because it's quite a good flame. Then you stay there, I'll hand you stuff. Snap it in half, don't do a little bit, it's just literally snap it in half and chuck it on. That's it, just chuck it on like that. Yeah, I'll keep it away from the fire for now. For, yeah, for the, yeah, true. Rod, look, fasten your stuff. Right, so get all your fire kit ready now and put it back in your pack, back, back pack even. So you put your fire still back on your belt and then anything else just put away so the air is clear of anything.
as you can see I've got a, a large chicken and I'm going to use um, my spit roast tonight over the fire to cook it. It's, the spit roast I'm using is the TJM Metalworks one, I've had it for a while, I've used it quite a few times actually, it's a good bit of kit. Undo it. Little drizzle of oil. As you can see, or well hopefully you can see, the mozzies are well and truly out in force. They're getting everyone. And no matter what precautions we put in place, like a bit of salt. I think the salt's got a bit bit damp. Top tip right for salt that gets damp is put a little bit of rice in with the salt. <sighs> Midges, mozzies, horrible biting things. Maybe a finer ground pepper would be better. <laughs> and then basically, <sighs> without stabbing myself, stick the chicken on there. Lovely job. I'll just dab that on there, get a bit of pepper and salt. But no, that's now going to go on the spit roast. About five seconds worth of heat is what I'm looking to achieve. And also what I'm gonna do is try and collect the juices from the meal itself. I'm going to try and get the fire going this side to produce the coals and then just drag the coals out a little bit and try and get a nice wall of heat yeah about five seconds so I'm going to give that probably 20 minutes or so it's about four o'clock now and then I'll start to rotate it around but yeah Roast chicken. And that's what I'm having tonight with it as well. Some boiled potatoes, some broccoli, some uh, onion sauce, and maybe pitters if I can squeeze it in. I probably won't, I'll probably save them for breakfast. It's a quite a healthy meal overall, for me anyway.
Chris got a nice little set up now. Yeah. I need to get, well, I need to get back to practicing some of the basic knots again. Easy done, mate. It's always a, I tend not to use that with eight knots very often. I tend to use the Ferriman hitch all the time. Yeah. And it's so easily to Oh, too easy to adjust it. Um, I've got it down my cave somewhere, it's like a little flip cut. It's riveted so you swivel around and it's lots of different not how to knots. Yeah. Oh cheers. So what are you doing there, Finn? Uh frying the onions for my dinner, which is going to be spaghetti ball nice. Um then I'll be adding the mint and then after that I'll be adding the rest and boiling the spaghetti. Cool. Yeah. You join yourself in? Yeah. So this is the first time you've cooked a bolognese out in the field like this, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. You enjoying it? Yes, good. Good stuff. John, are you good? Oh, I'm good, yeah. Just wait for me hot chocolate and coffee to <laughs> yeah. chill down. Been a hot one, hasn't it? Yeah. You get a little cool breeze every now and again, but it is. Yeah. Hot. I nicked that knife so I can So, kicking back in my hammock chair. It was a, a DD hammocks hammock chair. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? <laughs> um, I've had it for years. And I used to use it all the time, but like with most kit that I have, I go through phases where I use it and where I don't. And I've seen a lot of guys using their, their ones recently, and I thought, you know what? That's something to get out, and you know what? I don't know why I ever stopped using it. I'm proper comfy. Yeah. Really nice at the woods today, nice and quiet. Bird song is really good. Mid midges, mozzies, we can be in sods as per usual, but that's the price to pay. Yeah. All good, catch you in a bit. So, I got my potatoes on the go, collecting the juices from the chicken, and the chicken's doing well. It's been on there for about an hour now, just taking it slowly, no rush. And Finn's bolognese isn't far off being done as well. So yeah, what I'm doing, I'm going to boil the potatoes and chuck them in the juices of the chicken along with some broccoli and kind of just razz them up a bit, fry them up a little bit once they're boiled. And then chicken and the onion sauce, Carlsberg meal. Happy days. So Finn, how is it? It's delicious. Now I'm not just saying that because I, I make it. I'm not just saying that because I make it. It's genuinely good. Are you sharing? Come on, can you have some? Nah, I'm alright. I've got enough to eat. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Nice to be thought of though. Yeah. Yeah. Growing lad. Just want to give you some words of wisdom. This stick looks safe to pick up, but then when you pick it up, you'll see that where you would have put your hand, potentially there, is actually red as underneath. 
So, top tip, always check before you pick wood up, it's been on the fire. Pretty much the chicken is done. I've got the onion sauce on and I've got the potatoes and broccoli just roasting in the juices of the chicken. So yeah, happy with that. There we go, onion sauce, a roasted kind of potatoes and broccoli. And then a lovely roasted bird. Happy days. Gonna get this broken down now and uh, eaten. Look at that, cooked to perfection. Crispy skin. Look at that, it's just falling off. Oh mate, I can't wait to eat this. Is it making you hungry, Finn? Not really. I've eaten. I've eaten all my food, haven't I? Really? No, a bit. I'll still have some of my Take a leg off. Just off the bone. Beautiful. Right. I will get some greens. You're probably thinking I'm greedy right now. And you'd be right. <laughs> I'm really greedy. I know it's one of the seven deadly sins, isn't it? Greed or glutton. But tonight, it doesn't matter. Oh, yes. As you can probably tell, I'm excited. And just to finish it off, just a lovely drizzle of the onion sauce. I'm one happy chappy right now. Right, I'm not going to put you through torture of me eating it, so uh, I'll see you in a wee while then. I lied. I'll show you a little bit. Mm. Oh my god. That is fantastic. Oh mate, this is this is food of the gods. Let's try and eat mosquitoes. Mm. The chicken, take a little bit, I'll try to take a little bit. 
it's moist. Mm. Just melts in the mouth. And the broccoli. It's still a nice bit and chewy. Uh, it's just coming on seven. Yeah. At two o'clock. It's had a steady. Four o'clock I put it on. Four o'clock, right, so. A couple of hours. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway. See you in a bit. Well, I've eaten my fill. I didn't have all of the chicken. I've got half of it left. So I've eaten half a chicken, all the spuds, broccoli, and the sauce. And I'm just sat in my chair now, just kind of kicking back. <laughs> Food coma imminent. Oh, yeah. No, that was a really nice meal and definitely one you should try, I'd say. But, uh, yeah. Alright, I'll bring you back when I've, uh, when I've woken up. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, well, it's been a busy day, it really has, and Pear still wants to play. Um, it's cut to nine o'clock, and uh, I'm done. I don't think he's done though, <laughs> as he's running around me like a rocket. There we go. Meow. <laughs> It'll settle down in a minute. Anyway. Yeah, late like late night last night, early start this morning. Come here, Ugh. this dog's mental. He's been kind of chilling with me for the past hour or so, and the minute I lay down, as you can see, he's zoomy zoomy. Um, but yeah, so had a good day, really nice, chilled, relaxed, and it's just time now to lay down and go to sleep well I'll bring you back if anything happens if not I'll see you in the morning take care Good morning. Well, it's just coming up to five o'clock. Um, Bear has had me up since about four o'clock, and the midges or mozzies are kind of out again. So I thought, you know what, let's get up. Hello, mate. You all right? Get up, get a coffee on the go, start the day. He's had a great time just running around, exploring. Leave it alone. So yeah, just thought I'd say good morning. And you've been with me all night and you've been really good and you still want more love, haven't you? <laughs> this dog is amazing. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. So underneath my tarp, that's the sun coming through. Amazing. So picked a prime little spot here for the sun to wake me up. Awesome. He 
you gotta love a bit of bacon grill with your brekkie. Delish. Two eggs, yeah? Yeah, that works. If I do one at a time, I think. <clears throat> cool. Oh yeah, that's actually alright isn't it, not sticky. Yeah. Got the pitters on the go as well. Delicious. There it is. Breakfast. Can't wait to get that down. Keeping it simple. So that's where we were this weekend, all squared away, ready for the next camp. Right, another camp bagged and a bit of a change of pace for this one, nice and chilled. Very, very, very chilled wasn't it? Yeah, 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 very relaxed, it's good. Yeah, just nice quality time and uh, yeah, so if you got this far, thanks for watching, any comments from you guys? No, no, thanks for watching, yeah, and yeah, it's thanks. been a good uh, chance to get out together yeah, again. Us. All three yeah, generations. Us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. I won't say the good, the bad, and the ugly, but there yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, appreciate your support if you got this far, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Yeah, see ya. He always comes back. Just got in and I'm wearing my pack. So this is the post camping pack. And it's coming in just under 31 kilos. That's not including the seven kilos of water and other bits like the chicken and everything else I carried in. So yeah, epic. Feeling good, feeling strong.